Hi, thanks for coming to draw with me today. We're going to draw a self-portrait. You're going to start by making two marks to show where you would like the half of your head to be. Next, draw a half of an oval for your face shape. After you're done, from the bottom of your chin, you're going to draw a curved line to the bottom of your paper for your neck and your shoulder. Next, draw a line in the middle of your head. Draw a curved line up and a curved line down in the shape of a football for your eye. On the inside, draw a circle for the iris and then a smaller circle for the pupil. Draw a curved line above the eye for your upper eyelid and another curved line for your eyebrow. In between your eye and your chin, you're going to draw a C for your nose and a curved line for your nostrils. Draw another curved line down for the bridge of your nose. Halfway between your nose and your chin, in the middle of your pupil, you're going to draw the corner of your mouth, the top and the bottom, and then draw a line through the middle to separate your lips. Your ear will go lining up with the pupil of your eye and your nose, draw a C. Now you can add the curve of your shirt neckline and also your hair. I'm going to show you lady's hair first. You're going to make a curved line and then another curved line above your head behind your ear and you can decide the length of your hair and erase the line that was your oval shape. You can also add bangs if you have bangs or a hair clip or any details. Also add some accessories as well. If you have earrings or glasses, you can add those in at this time. If you are a boy, then you can start by drawing a curved line on your forehead if you have curly hair or wavy hair. You could also make this line just more flat and if you have straight hair and then above the head you can style your hair based on your hairstyle. When you are done and you feel like you are ready to outline, you can grab a marker and go over all of your pencil lines. This completes the drawing portion of your self-portrait. Next week I will show you some options for the background and also ways that you can add some color. When you're done, you can finalize your drawing by erasing any of the pencil marks that you have. I hope you have a great time drawing your self-portrait and I can't wait to see them.